Hello, welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. This is Tom. Today I'm going to be going over if you need to make a change on your panel and you're trying to, to upload to TCIP through the NL mod or the iRemote. So if we open up the account and let's say your client wants to make some kind of change and you have been able to do this before and now you go into your TCIP and you want to upload to make sure if there was any other changes before this and all of a sudden everything looks like it's going okay and then you start getting these messages please verify your IP address so you can go back into here into TCIP and you can try and do your get IP address from DNS server okay now what the DNS server is is it's a server that we host and your NL mods and your I remotes will just initially check in with it and then every hour a couple hours or so it's just going to check in again it's going to look at the MAC address and it's going to see if there was any changes to the IP address if there was an IP address changed then it would automatically populate in our DNS server and then you can go up and get IP at from DNS server. So if you click on here, oh, okay, so primary DNS server, NAPCO IP, okay, invalid response from server. All right, so what that means is that the server address is an old server address. We updated that server. So to fix that, you would go into OK, you hit cancel, you go up to close account. And then you would go into File, you would go into Preferences, and you would click on your DNS server. When you first open it up, you're going to get one of these. So you just hit the plus button, hit DNS server, and you want to change this server address. Now, what you want to do is you want to make it myremotekeypad.com forward slash DNS. just hit apply and then you would hit OK now what you can do is you can go back into your panel okay go back into TCIP and you can get IP from DNS server and it will populate the current IP that is in there okay if it doesn't for whatever reason then they could have you know closed the port on site or something like that and you would have to check that into further now Again, this is for the NL mod, and this is for the iRemote keypad. If you were doing the iBridge, all you would have to do is have a valid MAC address, and then you would be able to connect to it. And that's about it. So thanks for visiting Napco Video Tech Tips.